Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Marina. The Xiaomi Mi Note 10 has just been announced, but we've already been able to test out its Penta cameras. Let's have a look at the results and stick around till the end to get our full verdict. As I mentioned in our unboxing video, this is the first time we've seen this many cameras on a Xiaomi phone, and it's the first phone to have Samsung's new 108 megapixel quad bear sensor. Starting from the top, there's a 5 megapixel cam with 5x zoom, a 12 megapixel camera with 2x zoom, and the large 108 megapixel main cam. Below this setup, there's a 20 megapixel ultra wide camera with autofocus, and a 2 megapixel macro cam. Let's start off with the main cam, which has OIS, and outputs 27 megapixel photos due to its quad bear arrangement. These shots look very nice, with a ton of detail thanks to the high resolution. There's almost no noise, colors are spot on, and dynamic range is very wide. You can shoot in the nominal 108 megapixels, but since this is a quad bear sensor, don't expect a huge improvement in quality. There is a marginal increase in detail, but you get more noise, a much larger file size, and each shot takes longer to save. Moving on to the 27 megapixel ultra wide cam, which gives you a 117 degree field of view. Sharpness is alright, comparable to other ultra wide angle cams. The colors look nice and dynamic range is good, and distortion correction does a good job straightening the edges. The 2x telephoto camera takes really sharp 12 megapixel images, with colors that match nicely to the main cams. Dynamic range is wide too, but there is plenty of visible noise. Now let's get into the 5x telephoto camera, which is a bit complicated. It isn't a periscope camera. Xiaomi achieves this level of zoom by shooting with the central 5 megapixel area of an 8 megapixel sensor with a 3.7x zoom. The result is a 5 megapixel photo at 5x zoom, but then for some reason the Note 10 upscales that back to 8 megapixels, which you see here. The quality of these 5x zoom photos is nice. We never would have guessed that they'd been upscaled. There's plenty of sharpness, stabilization does a good job, and noise is kept under control. Here are some close-up shots from the dedicated macro camera, which can focus from as close as 2 centimeters. At 2 megapixels, it's not the highest resolution, but it does a decent job if you need it to magnify something. Portraits on the Mi Note 10 are taken with a 2x camera. The edge detection here is excellent, and the defocus background blur looks pretty natural. Now onto low-light photography. We really like the shots we took with the main camera. They're detailed and clean, with pretty accurate colors. There could be better dynamic range in the highlights, but it's alright. Night mode is only on the main camera for now. It works fine, but these shots take quite a long time to process, up to 15 seconds. The only benefit is the restored highlights, so it isn't really worth the hassle. This is also true if you zoom to 2x with night mode on. It's just a crop of the main cam. Without night mode, 2x zoom at night will use the telephoto cam itself. You get some good shots. They're very sharp and detailed, though there is a lot of luminance noise. The 5x zoom also uses a telephoto camera, and it actually does produce usable results at night, but they aren't great. Photos come out quite dark, and dynamic range isn't spectacular. The ultra wide angle cam really struggles in the dark, with both exposure and autofocus. It can sometimes produce decent images, and Xiaomi promises a night mode down the line. Selfies from the Mi Note 10 are taken with the 32 megapixel quad bear front camera, but these come out in the native resolution, not 8 megapixels. These shots look pretty good, with high dynamic range and mostly nice colors. Looking at them up close, there's not really 32 megapixels of detail, but we didn't expect that to be the case. Selfie portraits lose out on the HDR processing, but subject isolation is competent, and the background blur is pretty convincing. Let's move on to video quality. 4K videos captured with the main cam have excellent colors, great contrast, and wide dynamic range. The resolved detail leaves more to be desired, however, and the clips are a bit soft. Switching to the ultra-wide camera will give you a somewhat similar result. Quality is decent, but there is an overall softness to the footage. 4K videos taken with the 2x telephoto cam have some nice, yet more saturated colors. Dynamic range, however, was not stellar due to a more aggressive contrast setting. If you zoom to 5x, you'll be taking a crop from the 2x telephoto cam. The result is a very soft video, which doesn't look great. Electronic stabilization is available in the 30fps modes, and it works quite well to smooth out your footage. And you can take macro videos. These are actually shot using the ultra-wide camera. You get a nice level of detail, but since these videos aren't stabilized, camera shake is quite apparent here. So that's all folks, as far as the 108 megapixel camera goes, it's awesome during the day and good at night too, 
Where it falters a little bit is with Night Mode, which sits behind the competition, and video quality in general is kind of mediocre. The rest of the cameras that the Mi Note 10 has on board combine together to give you quite a versatile camera setup, but I wasn't blown away by their image quality at night. I like the direction that Xiaomi is headed in though, and they say that they'll be stepping up their camera game even more in the future. It'll be exciting to see what they come up with. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time.